Have you ever heard about death? Death is the thing that happens when you die. But how do you die? Well, you die when all of your biological function stops. Your blood circulation, your brain activity, your ability to watch Jojo memes. That is death. Now, what if I told you you only had a few months to live? What would you do? I'll give you a minute to think about it. Oh! Okay, okay, you don't want to think about that. So, I want to eat your pancreas is here to do that for you. I want to eat your pancreas. That's... That's the name of the movie. Okay, so you got a girl, she got a pancreas disease, and she's gonna get uh, the, um, uh, deceased. And that's not a spoiler, because it's literally the first second of the movie. Now there's that guy, he got no friends and not planning on getting any. His life pretty much sucks, and he's just not interested in people. So the two of them are going to meet each other and- Oh, is this going where I think this is going? Of course it doesn't. Hey, I love you! I love you too! Well, that's too bad! I'm gonna die! I know, that's super sad! Well, guess I'll just write a letter and everyone will cry. <laughs> Is this movie just another tearjerker for weebs? Yeah, it kind of is. But also, it's really not. Despite having its share of cliche cliche, this is one of my favorite drama of all time. Okay, so how does it stand out from the rest? Well, at first glance, it doesn't have much. The visuals are average, the soundtrack is basic, and the plotline is unoriginal, but... When I was done watching the movie, I remember just jumping into my bed, I looked at the ceiling and I was like... Whoa. That is the most perfectly written relationship anime has ever witnessed. I was expecting your classic dying girl romance filled with cheesy cheese, but I ended up with something much different. It was no romance nor friendship, but more of a symbiotic relationship where they needed one another to survive. Figure of speech, because she's dead. Due to his lack of empathy and his inability to connect with people, he was the only one who could offer her normalcy and be with her without pitying her. The only one who could offer her the normal life of a high school girl she wanted. And in return, she gave him the ability to reconnect with people. She showed him what connecting was like, the joy that comes with it, and ultimately, the pain. Because that's what living means. She was living with dying while he was dying with living. They are total opposite and that's why they complete each other so well. The movie was not about a doom love story, it was just about a powerful and unique relationship and the impact two people had on one another. Just before jumping the film, you can't forget about the whole Makoto Shinkai epicness we're used to, because there is none of that here. It's much slower and set in reality. Our main girl might look like this successively cheerful girl that we're used to seeing in the media, but behind that smile is hiding the most primal emotion. Fear. The characters are interesting while staying completely believable. They're not gonna grab you by the hand and drag you into this epic roller coaster. You're just gonna sit in a chair and watch two people grow while shitting your eyeballs out. You can try putting an emotional shield like I did, but that damn smile will break it in a thousand pieces. Anyway, I don't want to spoil any more of this beauty, so join the Weeb Army and come check out the Discord so we can talk about more weeb shit together. Now go take your tissues, eat some pancreas, and I'll see you lovely weebs next week. This is weird because I'm not much of a crybaby in real life. I mean, if somebody dies, I'm like, oh, somebody died? That's unfortunate. I'm gonna go play Minecraft now. But when it's fiction, oh my god, what is wrong with me? I remember at the end of Logan, like, I almost had to get out of the theater because people thought I was having a fucking seizure.